Welp. Seems like the Christian guy 2K7's target, for his madness is now one of our favorite childhood characters, SpongeBob SquarePants. Let's prepare to lose some brain cells, as he tries to convince us that watching SpongeBob turns you into a satanist. I am gonna get a lot of hate for this, but I don't care. You remember the show SpongeBob SquarePants? His full name is SpongeBob Quick Care SquarePants. He lives in Bikini Bottom. He works at the Krusty Krab, and he has a lot of friends like Patrick, Sandy, Mr. Krabs, Plankton, Gary, and Squidward. Do you think it glorifies God? No, it doesn't. This show is satanic and it cannot be allowed in our Christian world. Buddy, it's just a kid's show, not everything on your TV screen has to be religiously appropriate and 100% in line with your specific brand of Christian beliefs. Why can't kids just be kids and just enjoy the silly jokes that Spongebob and Patrick get up to in their silly ocean-themed world? The devil is behind this. The devil is behind My Little Pony, The Fairly Odd Parents, Gravity Falls, Disney, Mickey Mouse, Stranger Things, The Loud House, and Middlemost Post. You are probably one of the dumbest people I've ever seen. I mean, you think the devil is hiding behind shows like Spongebob, My Little Pony, Gravity Falls, or other shows? You're so fucking delusional that I don't even know what to say. Just get out of your insane religious echo chamber and try to actually think objectively instead of being so obsessed with your Christian values to the point of paranoia. We should not be watching these shows, ever. SpongeBob is evil, and the characters glorify sin, the seven deadly sins. Okay, there is no way that anyone can actually be this stupid. You think the characters in SpongeBob glorify the seven deadly sins? You really think SpongeBob's out here encouraging people to commit greed, lust, envy and the other five deadly sins, that he's out here tempting people to commit evil acts? Please tell me you're joking. Even worse, there are satanic rituals, like Illuminati. Illuminati is demonic. And you should hate Illuminati. Oh come on now. That conspiracy theory has been debunked like a million times. There's no such thing as the Illuminati, you were just been reading too much online bullshit. Do some fucking research on those topics, before you spread dangerous misinformation. SpongeBob even has Illuminati when Squidward decided to join a club, which is the Pyramid of the Illuminati's eye. Okay, that's just fucking ridiculous. The Illuminati is a completely made up conspiracy theory with no truth behind it. You ought to do some research and expand your knowledge beyond the narrow-mindedness you currently possess. I can't believe they made this, and can't believe I even used to watch it like you guys. Squidward then gets kicked out of the club. I will show you the images. So in Psalms 101 3, it says, I will not set not wicked thing before my eyes, I hate the work that turn aside, it shall not cleave to me. In Isaiah 5 20, it says, Woe to those who call you evil good. In 1 John 2 15, it says, Do not love the world, or the things in the world. If anyone loves the world, the father of this love is not in him. It's very unreasonable to apply biblical verses to animated characters in a children's TV show. I mean, you can't possibly believe that SpongeBob, Patrick, and the rest of the gang are real. It's a fictional cartoon, it doesn't have anything to do with religion or real life. I almost forgot about the seven deadly sins. SpongeBob is lust, Patrick is sloth, Squidward is wrath, Plankton is envy, Gary is gluttony, Mr. Krabs is greed, and Sandy is pride. You can't be serious, can you? Tell me, how the actual fuck do these characters represent the seven deadly sins? You can't just assign each character a deadly sin based on one or two personality traits or actions they've taken. People are complex, they don't fit neatly into these pigeonholes. And why is Sandy Pride and not Mr. Krabs? 
Krabs is definitely more prideful considering he often brags about his wealth and achievements. You need to re-examine your theory, because it's totally absurd and makes no sense at all. If you say bruh, you are bashing opinions, and it's not demonic, God is going to encounter you. God encountered me once, from watching Spongebob Squarepants, in August 5th 2023. God encountered me of my every sin. He confronted me a lot at that time. You're telling me God will punish me for watching Spongebob Squarepants? This is just fucking insane. It's just a fucking children's TV show, it's not demonic, and God doesn't get involved when people watch certain TV shows or movies, because it's not how it fucking works. So, if you are watching this show, stop watching it now. Because it contains Illuminati, unless you want to continue being lukewarm for the rest of your life. Amen. Are you listening to yourself right now? Watching SpongeBob SquarePants is not going to cause God to encounter me. Also, this has nothing to do with one's faith or whether they are lukewarm or not, it's simply just a children's show. But either way, thanks for watching today's video. And honestly, I've never before felt such rage and disbelief towards such an absurd conspiracy theory video. All it does is spread misinformation and fear which is very dangerous, and I strongly encourage everyone to do their own research and think for themselves. But anyways, thank you for watching, and I will see you all later in the next video. Peace out.